um, SpongeBob. That's equal parts flattering and disturbing. <laughs> Does that mean you're gonna show me? Yes, SpongeBob. Um, go get me 13 cans of paint and I'll show you. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I mean, oh boy. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Thank you, SpongeBob. <gasps> Mr. T'Challa, we're trying to be sneaky. Um, just the math trick is sneaky, SpongeBob. You and I don't have to be sneaky. We'll learn a sneaky math trick. <gasps> oh, so I don't have to dress like you anymore and be all stealthy? No, SpongeBob, you can just dress like yourself. I do think I look good in black, though, right, Mr. T'Challa? Personally, SpongeBob, I think everything looks good in black. <laughs> so, what's the first step to our sneaky trick? Well, SpongeBob, the number 13 has two numerals. Do you know what the one means? Um, well, if I remember what you taught Patrick, the one Next to the three means there's one group of ten. Very good, SpongeBob. So, let's get one group of ten all in a stack. Very good, SpongeBob. So we can see that thirteen is one group of ten, and three that aren't part of a group. Yeah. Didn't we learn that when we were counting? We did. And we're going to use that idea when we subtract 9. So, Spongebob, I want you to hand me 9 cans of paint. Okay, I'll start with these three here. Nope, nope, Spongebob. I'm going to give you a sneaky way to do it. <gasps> sneaky. Go to the stack of 10 and grab all the cans except the very bottom one. Okay, um... Should I count and make sure that's nine? <laughs> no, SpongeBob, because we know from earlier that ten minus one is always nine. <gasps> You're so right, Mr. T'Challa. I almost forgot. Oops, that's fine. We're going to subtract it, so that group will go away. Now, what do you notice about the three cans that were standing in front? <gasps> um they're still there? That's right. And you'll notice they also have a new friend. <gasps> You're right. If I look at Ken sitting here by themselves, there's four of them now. Yes, SpongeBob. So 13 minus 9 is 4. Wait, so we just make this number bigger and get rid of this number? You won't always get rid of the number. You'll take a group of ten away and add a single to it. <gasps> so if I start with a different number, like 32, well, I forgot about our science. Yes, science and technology are amazing things, SpongeBob. So when you have 32, you're still going to be sneaky and hand me nine. <gasps> And the sneaky way is to pick all of them up except the very bottom one. <laughs> Good SpongeBob. Now, we didn't get rid of the three, but we no longer have three groups of ten. How many groups of ten do we have? 
we just have two groups of ten. That's right. And how many single cons do we have by themselves? We used to just have two, but since I was sneaky and took away the rest of this deck, now we have three. Yes, SpongeBob. So 32 minus 9 is 23. The tens place got one smaller, and the ones place got one bigger. Well, that's a lot of threes and twos and twos and threes. It's kind of making my head hurt. Okay. Well, what if we didn't start with 32, but instead started with 36? Well, 36 means I have 1, 2, 3 groups of 10, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cans down here by themselves. Very good, SpongeBob. So, take away 9. And now we can see my group of 10 got one smaller. So there'd be 20. That's right. And my cans by themselves got one bigger. So now there's seven. Very good, SpongeBob. So 36 minus 9 is 27. The sneaky trick to taking away 9 is to make it 10 less but one more. Um, but if you're making it 10 less and one more, you didn't really make it 10 less. That's right, SpongeBob. I made it nine less. <gasps> because we're subtracting nine. Oh, I love this trick, Mr. T'Challa. Are you sure the one for eights is going to be just as sneaky? Well, as long as you remember it, it's just as sneaky. Oh boy, I can't wait to start. How many should we have? 46, 96, 300,000, 224? No, 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 SpongeBob. Let's start with 17. Okay, I think I have 17. Let me check. Here's a group of 10. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here's 17. Good, SpongeBob. You need to hand me 8. Okay, well, here's 7. No, 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 SpongeBob. All right. I'm going to hand you the whole tower, except for the bottom two. Mm, almost. Huh? This sounds even sneakier than nines. Well, you just can't leave the two on the bottom stacked together, because then we'd have a group of two. I need eight, and everything else has to be groups of one. <gasps> so I'll knock off the top. <laughs> And then take everything but the bottom. That'll work, won't it, Mr. T'Challa? It would've, but you'll notice our pile here is missing some, because when we knock them over, they roll away. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, let me go get them for you. <laughs> okay. Seventeen. Take away eight. So, I karate chopped the top one off. Nope, Spongebob. We're trying to be sneaky so they don't roll away. <gasps> oh. So, I take off everything but the bottom two. And I can get rid of these. And then these two are just not a group. Very good, SpongeBob. So we had a group of seven by themselves with no group of ten. And how many more do we have? <gasps> we have two more. Good. So instead of seven, we'll need... We'll need nine. And you got rid of a group of ten. Well, not the whole group. That's right. That's why this number changed. But we won't write the group of ten because the group is gone. So, subtracting 8 is like getting rid of 10 and adding 2. Hmm, are we sure this will always work, Mr. T'Challa? 
I'm pretty sure SpongeBob. What number would you like to try next? Um, let's try something close to this, like 16. Okay, now I take... Wait, SpongeBob. I want you to make a prediction. What do you think will happen if our eight sneaky trick works? Um, well, last time, the ones got two bigger, and the tens got one smaller. And since there's only one group of ten, it disappeared. So, 16 minus 8, it should be two bigger than six. It should be eight. You're right, SpongeBob. It should be eight. So, let's try our sneaky trick and see if it works. Okay. I take all but the bottom two, and I get rid of these eight, and then I make sure these two aren't a group. Good. So, how many groups of ten do you have? Um, I don't have any groups of ten. So far that looks right. We didn't have any groups of ten in the answer we predicted. Oh, and I have one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight cans of paint by themselves. So, do you believe that the trick works now, SpongeBob? Well, I'm not sure about when there's lots of groups of ten. Okay. Well, what number would you like to test it with? Um, how about a really big number, like... Eleven. Um... SpongeBob, 11 is smaller than 16. <gasps> oh, right. Um, how about 73? <gasps> wow, there's so many groups of 10 here. Let me make sure I really do have 73. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 groups of 10, and 1, 2, 3 paint cans by themselves. <laughs> All right, would you like to make a prediction, Mr. T'Challa? Oh, <laughs> Spongebob, I already know the answer. Would you like to make a prediction? <gasps> you bet I would. Let's see. When I subtract 8, the 1's place gets too bigger. So I'm going to need a 5 at the very end. And the 10's place gets 1 smaller. So I'm going to need a 6 in front of the 5. Mr. T'Challa, I predict that 73 minus 8 is going to be 65. That's a wonderful prediction, SpongeBob. Let's find out if you're right. Take eight away and see what we have. Okay, I'm going to take all but the bottom two. And then I'm going to make sure these two aren't a group. Now I have one two, three, four, five, six groups of ten. Oh, I was right so far. And one, two, three, four, five cans left over. Oh boy, this is great. Mr. T'Challa, I know how to subtract. I don't have to be sneaky anymore. But wait, what if I forget? Well, SpongeBob, if you forget, you can always use a trick to figure it out again. For subtracting 8, we also have the finger trick. Oh, that's right. And if our number in the beginning is small, we can also split it up into groups. Oh, I know so much about subtracting now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And what's even better, SpongeBob, is the more you practice subtracting, the better you'll remember it. In fact, after a lot of practice, you might not even need to use any trick. You might just remember all your subtraction facts. Wow, that would be great. Do you think you could help me learn them, Mr. T'Challa? <laughs> well, SpongeBob, we could probably practice subtracting later. But I think we're forgetting something. Well, no, because we know that we can subtract 8 and 9 with the super sneaky tricks. And we know we can use our fingers for all the other numbers, so there's nothing left to learn. Um, but SpongeBob, we didn't come here to learn subtraction. 
Remember, we're supposed to be counting all the paint to see how much got delivered. <gasps> You're right. Oh, I'd better go help count. SpongeBob. Yes. <gasps> that was a little too sneaky, SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go count some paint. <laughs>